this is i said we are starting from known to unknown we are first of all taking um skin analysis or should i say consultation analysis for basic facial procedure or should i say basic facial therapy which by now i expect that all of you will have passed that eh? Be above 50 percent are we in order are we in order yes, so the first column says what put it down put it down on the table put your papers down beside the client put it down beside the client put your papers down before beside the client okay i'm using swanky as um as a, a template so the first sentence is what require service no date sex no Lani Beauty Service Record Card. Explain. Um, that means a record you keep as per each client that comes in for a service. The record you take. I need better definition. Okay. The record you take. Get information, get information about from your client. Get me details about your skin, your health, and the therapist gets to keep it. One lifeline. One lifeline. Service record card. Okay, it's, um, okay. it's uh, to get information about the clients. The records that you keep that suggests suggest that suggest suitable service and product. The records that you take that suggest eh, that is after analyzing those records, those informations, eh, it will suggest to you the suitable service and product should i repeat it or should you repeat it I'll call it along with me the service, service the record service card service. means the record, the record that you take and save that suggests to you suitable services and products you can also tweak it to say suitable therapy and product. I usually refrain from using the word treatment because that is used already in the medical mm, field. So before you start considering yourself as a medical doctor, you can be that well tutored and well trained that your client mistake you. You understand? I'm for a medical doctor. I have customers that call me doctor. But hello, you are not a medical doctor. And you shouldn't even play around that area at all. Am I making sense? Yeah. So, the reason for your service record card is to enable you to collect records and analyze them. Do I make any sense? For the purpose of arriving at suitable service and product. That's, that is number one. Okay? Part two is for effective follow-up. Do I make any sense? So you, in your analysis, you can say also for effective follow-up. Are we together? Okay. Card number suggests the number of paper or the number of card eh, that you are using. Again, it depends on your. Again, it depends on the spa. Card number and also be the card number issued for the location of this customer's service record card. Am I making sense? Okay, we don't use small card here. 
Hmm? But when I was training, auto stain figure clinic in those days, 1982, 1983, we give our clients smoke card. So that smoke card indicates is is an indication or it is for uh, uh, it is for scheduling nest therapy. You understand to schedule nest therapy dates and also number that that customer's card bears for easy mm, accessibility. So, but these days uh, we have softwares. I use Tiger. <laughs> yes, and I use Taja. But most hospitals now also they use you know applications, various applications are there. So paper we are doing away, or we can't do away with paper, you know, completely. But we are reducing the use of paper. Space has become very very expensive. Understood? Okay. Number number which one are you looking at again? Okay? The customer's name. The age. The customer's age. Occupation. The customer's occupation. Student name. Student name. An admission number. An admission number. Why is this important? You have all taken threat to the skin. Yes. You have all taken threat to the skin. Mm -hmm. So, the place of age. We don't need to. We don't need to start going through all of that again. Age of the client. Is under which factor? Internal or Internal. external? Internal factor. Okay, so you need that information in your analysis. So you just don't want to know the name of the, the age of the client because you want to know how old is she. You need that information. Okay, because it's a factor that you must consider in your consultation analysis are we together now mm -hmm. so so you must refer to your threats to the skin okay so the occupation of the client what does this customer do is not for the fun of it you need that information for two major reasons you want to be able to analyze the in the the, the effect of the environment exposure, environmental exposure. Eh? Your threat to the skin, refer back to your threat to the skin and read external factors. External factor, you will read the effect of water, the effect of pollution. Am I making sense? So we don't need to go through all of that. Go back to your threat to the skin. So your client goes out every day. Your client comes out, you know, comes in every day. She's exposed to the environment. So you want to have an idea of what she does so that you understand you'll be able to kind of uh how will I put it now? Think out, imagine. You want to imagine what her exposure to the environment is like. For instance, I'm a trader. What does that tell you? Exposure. That exposure to sun is likely to be high. A round of applause for yourselves. Hmm? Very simple. Eh? Um, I am... I'm a secretary. Exposure to sun will be low. But you are now seeing... Uh -huh. Exposure to sun will be low, but you are now seeing... You are seeing... Um, Skin condition that is suggesting environmental factor, effect of environmental factor. You will ask for that questions. Where does she live? She's a secretary, yes. Sir, ma, where? Which company, ma? Because it's not only sun that we are dealing with here, we're also dealing with water. We're also looking at water, that's why we're looking at sun. Are that making sense? We are also looking at pollution. We are looking at ventilation. Are that making sense? Exposure to what kind of hair? Okay, so you will dwell on that. Under occupation. Hmm? Yes. That's for me now. 
So, another very important reason why you need, eh, you need to pay attention to this occupation is cost. You are not going to ask her what her salary is. <laughs> you are not going to ask her what her salary is. Hello. But you want to, you want to have an idea of mm, what this customer can afford. Mm. Because it will not be right. It will not be psychologically right for you to recommend or suggest what the client cannot afford. Because if you now, if you now reduce it, give her another option because she says, I cannot afford it. Sorry, she won't accept it. She won't. Even though she can't afford it, but she will believe that the best, what will work is what you have. What you have suggested at first. So she will say, I'm coming back. But she will never come back again. That making sense. So your consultation analysis is for you to get information hmm, that will um, improve your improve your how will I call it now your charges will help you to give reasonable and suitable you know you'll be able to size up her pocket okay there's another module that means there's another column there that will also lead you to that so let me do a jump another column there is is uh, uh, home care regular beauty routine okay that, if you, for those of you that have gone through, you've gone through those um, uh, service record card um, observation uh, clues, mm -hmm. okay? So you will see there that on that beauty routine, she will mention to you what she, the home care line that she's on. The cosmetic line that she's using at the moment that she has used before. Yes. And I'm sure HOT will mention to you that go back to know what she has used like three months to that time. Natural fact, as cosmetic skincare therapy, you must go back to what she was six months ago. Because if she tells you, and honestly, I don't. I don't scrub my face and that is why I don't even scrub my face and you are seeing poor elasticity you are seeing apathemia do you understand eh? on a young age that is not sick am I making sense so you ask yourself questions and this person says I am not escalating now we talk of even over isolate. But that is as far as now is concerned. What was she three weeks ago? What was she three months ago? What was she six months ago? Okay? So you will understand that and be able to relate her line here. Eh? Uh, beauty routine align here to the condition that we are seeing at the moment, but also this play column also will suggest to you <laughs> the pocket of the client. Mm -hmm. I use body treat, mm -hmm. <laughs> I use body treat. You now, you now recommend, you now recommend uh, fashion fair or clearance. You recommend clearance, fashion fair, or recommend shower for client that all her life for the past six months has been on body treat. <laughs> okay, so you better tell yourself, can I uh, can I attend to this client? <laughs> can I attend to this client? At that point in time, you begin to think, either an escape route, <laughs> maybe you are looking for a door. A way out of continuing with this client or you are thinking of solution outside of your shelf because I, I definitely do not have product for a client that is on body treat 
that is using two hundred naira soap. So I don't have it. So the client is now sent to me by her mother. <laughs> she says, eh, "I am using eh, Deborah. I am using Deborah Tarodo soap. Elonanta, one fifty. Fifty naira. I am using Delta soap. She is this this woman." Does you already know? Yeah. Uh, are you making sense? Yes, ma'am. So, is your consultation analysis making sense to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, admission number that is as refers to training school. In your spa, there may be nothing like admission number, but you may now have therapist. It is question. Mm. Yeah, you may have therapist. Because you want to know who is the therapist that attended to this client. Hmm? So you have a name. So you open your spa, you have two therapists, and the client comes around and says, Hello, the product that Titi Lyo gave me, it has burnt my okay. face. Who attended to her? Nobody uses a knife that is lost to eat food, to mm. cut, to cut, what is it? to mm. cut maize or to cut yam. Mm. So already lost. Everybody will say, "No, have I seen you before?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's a standard on your surgical card that the person that attended to this client should append a person. On the service record card. Are we together? Yes, sir. Okay, so Anki, move on. First, we are moving from known to what? Mm -hmm. To 